Hey guys, it's Quisha. I'm coming at you with this Icy Queen Holiday Snow Tutorial. So to start off, I'm doing my brows. I'm using Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I need y'all to please forgive me and bear with me. I already recorded this tutorial like earlier today and I don't know what happened and now I'm drunk and I don't have a lot of time <laughs> to do it again so this is this is what's happening so like you know what bear with me all right we finna make it through okay we making it through this tutorial we are getting up in time for the holiday season tis the season to be drunk all right bitch all right I'm using the Tarte Shave Tape in the shade Deep to clean up my brows. Y'all already know I love Shave Tape. I use Shave Tape. I don't only use this to clean up my brows. I also use this like to highlight and you know on the rest of my face. I haven't done it lately but I think I do it in my next tutorial so stay tuned. To prime my eyes I'm using the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 3. Y'all know I love this. It makes those eyeshadows pop. You can't go wrong with P. Louise. I'm now using the Stacy Marie and Be Perfect collaboration. It's called the Carnival Palette. And I'm using the shade Sky. And I'm putting that right in my crease. And I'm going to also use that deeper shade Mood. Mood. I hope it's called Mood. And I put that right underneath that crease shade to like deep, further deepen my crease. I love this palette so much. The shades are so pigmented. I mean, no tea, no shade. They did stain my brushes, but I think like, isn't that a, like the sign of a good palette? I don't know, girl, but this palette is popping, all right? I loved it. I used those, the lighter blue shade and the darker one. It's now time to cut the crease, and to cut my crease, I'm using the ColourPop Concealer in the shade Dark 40. And when I cut my crease, I use the Look Up method, which is where you put a little bit of concealer on your lid, and then you look up, and it's supposed to give you like a guidance point as to where you cut your crease. I like using this method because I like to... When I cut my crease, I like to like, when you look straight ahead, I like you to still see like where I cut my crease. You can still see that, the outline and the, the definition when you cut your crease. Also what I'm doing, um, I'm also wiping off my brush a lot, like every couple of swipes because um, it keeps the concealer clean. So if you keep like wiping the color off of your brush every time you dip your brush in the concealer, it keeps your cut crease very clean and very sharp. I'm now taking the Juvia's Place Magic Palette and I'm using the shade Yamoa and oh, girl, what's the name of the other shades? Hold on, I have it right here. The shade Yamoa and the shade Faso. The shade Yamoa is going right on the inner part of my crease or the inner part of my lid and then the shade Faso is going on the outside. And I'm using a detail brush to go like right inside the lines of that cut crease. So like I'm not going over those cut crease lines. So the detail brush is going to help keep it like really clean. Now I'm taking that Stacy Marie palette and I'm taking the shades Sky and Mood and I'm putting them back on the outside of my cut crease.
I'm now taking a makeup wipe just to clean up uh, the outside of my eyeshadow look. I want it to kind of be like really nice and clean on the outside. Using the NYX Crystal Body Liner in the shade Crystal Pewter, I'm going to make a glitter wing. I want to give y'all the real tea on this, on these NYX body glitters. I don't even think they sell these anymore, but if they do and if you buy them, please beware. They will burn your eyes. These body liners burn my eyes. I have a blue one, I have a silver one, and I have a gold one. They all fucking burn. But do I keep using them? Yes. I'm not using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Gluing down my lashes, I am using the Kiss Natural Lash Glue. And the lashes that I'm using are the Salon Perfect Number 615 Lashes. I like using these lashes because they're very um, spacey. Like they have a lot of space in between. And you can see the makeup look in between the lashes. They don't hide the makeup look. You can see the glitter wing. You can see the cut crease and everything. So I really like using these lashes for looks like this. I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer um, to prime my face. I love this primer. It gives you like not a super matte look but also not a super dewy look. As a girl with combination skin, I really appreciate that um, that primer it's just like a really good primer I feel like any skin type can use unless you're like super oily then I probably wouldn't um, recommend that for you but if you're like combination skin or like dry then that primer is bomb AF each for foundation I'm using the Lancome uh, 24 hour taint eye doll foundation I'm in the shade 500 for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Hey. To set my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Loose Setting Powder in the shade 35 Deep. I'm not going to go back and do my under eye detail and I'm using the same shades that I used in the Stacey Marie palette, the shade Sky and Moon, and then that light blue shade that I used in the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm focusing the darker shades towards the outside of my eye and the lighter blue shades towards the center and inside of my eye. And for eyeliner, I'm using the LA Girl Glide Pencil in the shade Gypsy Teal. It's a really pretty shimmery blue shade. And I'm just going to put that um, right in my waterline. Hey. And as usual to contour, I'm using the Black Radiant Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm going to use that to not really contour, but not really so much as a contour but to bronze up my face I only really contour my nose I don't really like do like cheekbones and all that kind of stuff so I'm just contouring my nose and bronzing up the rest of my face now and this is really where my makeup look went left to me <laughs> um, I use this Huda Beauty Winter Solstice Palette um, as my highlighter and I I thought this was going to be more blue than it was purple but it came out purple and I wasn't feeling it like I really wasn't so but this is the highlighter that I use you know sometimes when you do your makeup you mess up but the important thing is you have to keep rolling with it. You have to, especially with a highlighter, like once you put it on, like it's on your face. So I put that shit on and I fucking use that shit. Like I roll with that bitch, all right? Like even though I really didn't like it, I really didn't like it. To line my lips, I use the ColourPop lip liner in the shade Pitch. And for my lipstick, I use the Kat Von D Cream Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. 
and I really wasn't feeling a matte lip so I used the Shayla Times Colourpop lip gloss in the shade Neat Freak. Neat Freak. I don't know what happened to my voice just then. And to set my face, I used the Morphe Continuous Setting. <laughs> the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Y'all, it's been a night. It has been a night. Alright, now what do you think? Do you like it? Am I cute? Y'all, thank you so much for sticking through with me during this drunken tutorial. I did not mean to do this drunk. I was, listen, when I recorded earlier today, I was totally sober and, listen, things happen, okay? So, listen, here we are. We drunk and, but, and, but, we drunk and here, here's the tutorial. So, let me know what you think. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. Listen, I know Snapchat is dying, but please go ahead and drop your Snapchat names below. I, I kind of want to follow some fun people on Snap, so give me your Snapchat name so I can follow you. Let me know if you like this video, and I, I, I don't know what else to say. Bye!